Welcome, welcome, welcome my fellow viewers. Being another beautiful Friday afternoon, May 6th. My name is Chris and this is your beautiful channel HomeTube. Today I will be talking about uh, the ongoing impasse or stalemate in the two major coalitions in this country over the running mate position. We understand that uh, uh, there were four large Chebukati-led commissioners given uh, the coalitions to introduce uh, their running mates by May, I think, 16th. And uh, not uh, a single uh, coalition has already announced it is running mate. Not Raila and not uh, William Ruto-led Kenya Kwanza coalition. In Azmio, for instance, why Papati boss Kalonzo Msioka wants to be given that position? We are told that uh, Jubilee has fronted uh, woman rep Sabina Chege's name alongside uh, former Gatanga MP or legislator Peter Kenneth's name. Gideon Moy has also been fronted by Nick Salat, who is his sec gen, Kano Secretary General. So, in essence, we have around uh, four five to five names in Azmi alone. But that's not what I'm going to discuss. What I can just highlight is that Kalonzo Msioka is not serious with becoming a running mate. What he is after is just making life in Azmiyo difficult so that he can be given other serious position in Azmiyo. So he's just becoming stubborn but back his mind he knows that uh, running mate position is not meant for him and he will not be given. So he has only one option to remain stubborn and loose or to calm down and win with the rest. Now let's look at uh, the names Jubilee has fronted. Sabina Chege and Honorable Peter Munya. Some guys were asking why is Martha Karua's name not there. Martha Karua is not, in, is not in Jubilee Party. So don't expect Jubilee Party to front her name. Just like Wiper fronted uh, Kalonzo Msioka, Kanu fronted uh, Gideon Moy. So Martha Karua has her party in Kenya, which has to front her name. So basically, I'm told she has already uh, applied for the position. And today morning we woke up on the news that uh, she is more than willing to attend uh, the interviews. In fact, in fact, that's a, a great challenge uh, to Honorable Kalonzo Musioka because Martha Karua said that party structures must be respected by leaders. And that was uh, a thin veil attack on Kalonzo who has refused uh, to go for any interview saying that he is overqualified to sit down for a running mate interview. It's another interesting aspect, but that means that Kalonzo Msioka will not be interviewed, but Martha Karu on the other hand has said she will be the first person to be interviewed because she believes she has what it takes to be Raila's running mate. But uh, another good side of Martha Karu is that she she can't be she can't push her way because she came in late, she joined as meal late, and uh, her desire is to become governor Kirinyaga County, which she has, she has not denounced. So Martha Karua will not pressure Raila a lot, but uh, if given that chance, I know she will also be happy. Hey. Another news making headlines is about the back and forth exchange between Deputy President William Ruto and uh, ICT uh, CS Joy Musheru. It is interesting. Uh, uh, I think two days ago, Joy Musheru said that he was working closely with his ministry, was working closely with the, the Right Honorable Raila Odinga as Mio to deliver a win. To that side and uh, there are th those were sentiments that rubbed the DP and his brigade the wrong way. They even wrote a letter in protest of uh, the utterances uh, saying that uh, it was a clear indication uh, 
the elections will be rigged in favor of Raila Odinga. But today, Joy Mushero responded in a hard-hitting style. In a bare-knuckle style, he reminded Ruto that in 2017, the cabinet and which Deputy President William Ruto was part of was ordered to join the campaign trail of Jubilee Party, the ruling party. That is in 2017. So Joy Mushero is arguing that William Ruto never protested that time, that it was illegal for any cabinet member to join campaigns. They joined and they campaigned heavily for the Jubilee Party using even state machinery. Deputy President was part of it and he was even reminding Raila Odinga that a government officer should work for government and the government of the day was Jubilee. The shameless Deputy President William, William Ruto used to say that. So today Joey Mshero is questioning the authenticity, the integrity of Deputy President, the honesty in Deputy President, uh, questioning his association with Raila Amolo Odinga. So he has categorically told the Deputy President that he will campaign for whoever he wants to campaign for because on August 9th, just like any other Kenyan, he will be required to mark his or her favorite. So he has told the Deputy President categorically that being a cabinet member does not bar anyone. It's not illegal for a cabinet member to campaign or to vote for anyone. And on August 9th, he will vote for someone. And interestingly, he has just openly told Deputy President William Ruto that that person is none other than Raila Molo Odinga, as per the wishes of uh, his boss, Huru Kinyata. So that's where we are. And uh, always remember that we are only three months shy to the next general election, big battle between Honorable Raila Molo Odinga and Deputy President William Ruto. Days are slimming down very fast. And Kenyans, please have a peaceful elections. Again, my name is Chris. I wish you a very prosperous week. So what am I requesting you to do? Kindly take one second. Subscribe to our channel, HomeTube. Support this channel so that you are among the first guys to get anything we update every day. Also remember to put a thumbs up to this video. Thank you. Welcome.